Namaste yogis and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just coming back from a beautiful vacation. I had time to relax, recharge and just take some time to sleep really. I was in much need of deep rest and longer sleep periods so that was amazing. And for today's class what we're going to be doing is diving into a beautiful yin yoga morning session. Morning is always a great time to stretch those ligaments and just create more space in your body as our body are colder and it sets you up for a beautiful day ahead. So without any further ado, we're just gonna start the class and I'm gonna invite you to grab a bolster if you have one or maybe a body pillow or something that's a little more narrow and longer. And we're just gonna turn around away from the bolster. We're gonna be going into supported fish and bringing the sole of our feet together with a one, about a one foot distance between our groin and our heels. We're just gonna lower ourselves down onto our backs here, bringing the back of our hands to rest on the floor and just opening up our groin area by allowing our knees to fall on each side with gravity. So as you lay down here, I'm just gonna invite you to focus on your breath. In yin yoga, we always use the breath to calm our racing thoughts, slow down our heart rates, and allow our body to start relaxing. And if you want, you can place one hand on your belly button, one on the heart. I'm just gonna invite you for the last minute here to really deeply connect with your breath. So deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. And exhale again. And from here, we can use our hands to close our knees very gently. And then placing our hands on the floor, big inhale, exhale. We're gonna brace our abdominals, pushing ourselves up and away from the bolster as we come back to the seated position. So from here, going into a gentle hamstring stretch, we're gonna bring the right leg in here and the right foot can go along the inside of the left thigh. So our hips are gonna face the left leg with the hands on the floor. We're gonna take one big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna walk our fingertips forward. Chin can come to the chest area here. And I'm gonna invite you to just go very gently and slow with this one. So just walk your fingertips forward, bending at the waist. Find your first edge. So your first point of resistance here.
And let's just allow our bodies to soften up into the posture. And at your own pace, you can walk your hands back, releasing the position. And then we're going to be extending the right leg in the 45 degree angle, taking our time here to position ourselves. And then we're going to turn around facing that right leg, hands at the floor. Take one big inhale here. And on the exhale, bending at the waist once more, finding the first point of resistance and holding stillness here.
So we can slowly start to walk our fingertips back, raising our torso back in line with our hips and we can bring the right leg back in. So from here, I'm gonna invite you to grab the bolster once more. We're gonna place it on the left side here. We can turn around on our knees. Facing the bolster here, we're just gonna place our hands in front of it, extending our legs back and placing our elbows on the floor with our hands in front of us like this. So going into Sphinx Pose, supported by the bolster on the chest. And then just raising your neck up here, taking some deep inhales and exhales as we just enjoy this beautiful release in our low back. The bolster makes this position also more comfortable into stillness. If you want to just spread out your legs a little bit with your toes pointing outward, opening up the hip flexors and inner groin here, that might be something you want to try. I know that for me it feels really good this morning to do so, so this is why I'm doing that. And if you want, you can place your elbows on the bolster just to push yourself up into sill pose, just deepening how it feels in your little back here, going a little higher into the stretch and stretching up your hip flexors and inner groin a little bit more. So the bolster can provide stability to the elbows here as you use it for support while pushing yourselves up. So from here, I'm gonna invite you to bring your elbows back down. You can close your knees a little bit, bringing them back in line with your spine, and then placing your hands on the floor along the edges of the bolster here. Just gonna push ourselves up and back. And then we can bring our knees to the edges of our yoga mat, big toe stretching together, sitting down on our heels. I invite you to place the bolster here in front of you. We're just going to be going into a very comfortable child pose. So with the hands on the floor, we're going to take one big inhale. Exhale, we're going to walk our hands forward, hugging the bolster, turning the head to the side, and really collapsing here onto the floor. So this feels really good. It's a great way to unwind and relax. Let's try to keep your glutes in contact with your heels here. And just fully breathe in and out through the nose.
I'm going to invite you to push yourselves up here, placing the bolster out of the way. We're going to go in the middle of our yoga mat, crossing our ankles together, and as usual, rolling back down onto our backs. So from here, we're going to do something a little different. So we're going to allow the left knee to fall off to the left side, and we're going to scoop on the left foot in the opening here to the right, allowing the knee to touch the ground and the left thigh to touch the ground. So with the right hand here, we're just going to hold onto the top of the left foot, keeping our backs in contact with the floor. And then the left hand will come to the exterior edge of the right knee as we pull the right knee in. So this feels really good. It's a little different, but it's a variation of something I wanted to try with you guys today that I really enjoy. It especially feels good for the left leg here. So just settle into this very comfortably as you keep breathing in and out through the nose as usual. So the more you pull on the right knee, the more it pulls into the left leg. And from here, we can transition this position into cats pulling its toe. So we're going to turn the left leg, at the right leg, sorry, to the left here. And then we're going to keep applying some pressure with the left hand on top of the right knee. And we're going to pull on the left foot with the right hand here. So going into this beautiful twist, which feels good for the low back. We just use the first position we had and transition into this one. So try to keep your shoulder blades in touch with the floor. And just keep looking up as you put pressure on the left hand and you pull with the right one. And we can release our legs, bringing back 
our spine in line with our hips here and you can just wiggle your knees left to right very gently as we release any kind of tension that's lingering in our low backs here and now with our feet firmly planted on the floor this time the right foot will come in the opening we're going to allow the right knee to come all the way to the ground like this and the left hand will hold on to the right foot and then with the right hand we're going to take one big inhale here exhale we're going to bring it to the exterior edge of the left knee and we're going to pull that knee in So you should feel a deep stretch in the right thigh. And from here, we're going to transition into cat pulling it still. So big inhale, exhale, the left knee will go to the right. And we're going to pull onto the right feet with the left hand and then putting pressure here on top of the left knee with the right hand. Uh, that goes into a beautiful deep stretch in my low back and spine. If you find that your leg is kind of uncomfortable, some people like to use a bolster like this for support. It might help you to just settle into the twist a little better as you feel like your left leg is not dangling off the ground. So try this if you wish to find a little bit more support. time you can slowly release the position bringing your legs back to center your spine in line here and squared off to your hips and we can once again do the windshield wiper motion so wiggling your knees left to right doing what feels good and right for you guys and from here we can extend our legs in front of us back of our hands come to the floor and we're just gonna dive into Savasana. Our final position this morning as we fully relax and let go of any leftover tension within our bodies and mind.
I'm going to slowly come back to the seated position, but I'm going to let the class run for an extra two minutes for those of you who wants to stay in Savashna a little longer. So I do want to thank you all for your support. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel, share it with friends, family members, invite people to join and practice Yin Yoga with me. You can always give donations to PayPal if you want to support me money-wise here and there at your own will. Or you can go to my website at yinyogawithmat.com. I have a membership section there that I started for $20 a month. You have access to longer exclusive classes that are not offered for free on YouTube. So if you want to support me that way as well and get a little bit more uh, bang for your buck, well, this is a great way to get exclusive content with me and to support me. And for the rest of you who just like to do my weekly free classes, I thank you very much as well. Have a beautiful day, big in hell. And exhale, namaste. Have a beautiful rest of your week. And the rest of you guys can relax for an extra two minutes in Savashna. Bye.